With this kit, we will be able to produce queen bees very easily without having to transfer larvae. Fill the 123 empty spaces at the back with cell plug. These cell plug can be attached and removed. Close the back cover, open the front cover, spray sugar water, and close it. We need to leave the comb box in the hive for one day. The worker bees will polish and disinfect the comb cells with propolis and create a suitable environment for the queen to lay eggs. After one day, we place the queen bee inside from the front. I waited approximately 72 hours. You can release the queen earlier, on the same day, after observing that she has laid eggs. Otherwise, the queen may become stressed. We check whether the eggs have hatched. Some eggs have hatched. We remove them one by one from the back of the comb box. I chose a slightly larger larva to show you, one that has been fed royal jelly. Yes, this is our larva. We attach the cell cups to the cell plugs and place them one by one in the nursery frames. I placed approximately 41 queen cells in the nursery frame this way. I think the retention rate will be very high. Our queen candidates will wait inside the chambers this way. I placed the nursery frame in the mating hive that I prepared earlier. Here, the bees will secrete royal jelly for 6 to 12 days. The more royal jelly is secreted, the higher quality queens we will produce. After 80 hours in the mating hive, the larvae are in this condition. The larvae are literally swimming in the royal jelly. The more royal jelly they are fed, the higher quality queens we will produce.